Greetings everyone, I am Tim Anderson, a.k.a. Renfell, a.k.a. the Bearded Dwarven Princess, and welcome to my channel as I talk about reading The Hobbit on my Kindle Paperwhite and my diving into the entirety of The Hobbit, The Lord of the Rings, and The Silmarillion this year leading up to The Rings of Power and the fiasco that that show is going to be. Today specifically though, we're going to be talking about how uh, certain Tolkien scholars and, and, and individuals who claim that dwarves do not have beards are flat out lying through their teeth and how I, a dwarven bearded princess reading through The Hobbit, am going to prove that wrong. So hopefully you're, you're ready to dive in with me. Uh, if this is your first time to my channel, welcome. I am, of course, making a joke, um, but I am going to be talking about some, some stuff as I'm reading through The Hobbit right now, so hopefully you'll enjoy. As we dive in, don't forget to like the video, and if you get to the end and you did enjoy it all the way through, make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon, so you can get updates for future content, as I do uh, plan on reading all of The Hobbit, Lord of the Rings, and The Silmarillion this year, uh, which I haven't done in like 20 plus years, so I'm going through all of them right now. Um, stick around for all that kind of stuff. And don't forget, we have a Discord down below are the links. We have a gaming community who are currently playing Lord of the Rings Online together on the Laurelin server on Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturday nights, as well as uh, Saturday and Sunday mornings, uh, Central Time. If you hear wildlife around me, Chris and I just moved uh, on the 15th of March, actually. We are now out in the countryside. We moved out of the big city, and all of our neighbors have small animals, so there's chickens and... and we're very much like a hobbits right now, uh, except we don't have small holes in the ground. So anyway, let's let's dive in. So um, I have not read The Hobbit since probably 2000. It's been a long time. It's been at least 15, I would say at least 20 years, at least 15, probably 20-ish um, since I've read The Hobbit or The Lord of the Rings. The Hobbit was uh, the very first book I ever read back when I was five years old. Uh, my dad gave me um, The Hobbit and then the Narnia books, and I read those when I was five, and it instilled within me a love of all things fantastical, more importantly, a love for the world of Middle-earth and all things Tolkien. Now, um, reading those a lot between the ages of five and six, by the time I got to the age of seven, I read The Lord of the Rings, and I then read The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings and Narnia books every year until I was about 12, 13 years old. And from then on, I used to read The Lord of the Rings every year uh, up until I was around 20, 21 years of age. And somewhere around in there in my late teens, early 20s, I read The Silmarillion a couple of times, but I'm not intimately familiar with it. Recently, because of the Rings of Power debates and discussions and, and fiascos and everything else, um, I made a series of videos, uh, rants on the Ring of Power, which went somewhat viral, for, at least by my standards for my channel, because I am a small-time YouTuber. And one of the things that we joked about is that um, as we were debating the fact that um, Tolkien did in fact say in the appendices of The Lord of the Rings that dwarven females are indistinguishable from males, and we know that dwarves have beards. Well, Corey Olson, the... Tolkien professor came out in an IGN video and said that Tolkien never wrote that, that beards have dwarves. D dwarves have beards? I said that wrong. He came out and stated emphatically that Tolkien never wrote that dwarves have beards. And I said, that's bullshit. Tolkien definitely wrote that dwarves have beards. And then he defended his argument and said that, no, that's not true. What what He changed his mind many times over the years. And you can see in this book that was published by Christopher Tolkien 70 years after his death that he actually said that dwarves didn't have beards and that's not true and all this whatever I'm, I'm it's interesting to me is that um, during the course of all of those uh, uh, comments thousands of comments on my YouTube videos the joke came up that since I have a beard um, that I could perhaps play the part of a dwarven princess in the Rings of Power show since the uh, dwarven women are indistinguishable from men, and we know that all dwarves have beards, men and women alike. Um, and to refute that, um, when I was reading through The Hobbit, um, it immediately jumped out to me. Um, I'm, I, I'm actually at the point right now, uh, uh, um, Bilbo has just gone into the tunnel 
Ballin just left him behind. He got down and he just saw, this is where I got last night, he just saw the, the glory and glow of smog in the cavern below, and that's where I stopped off. But what I wanted to talk about um, is the fact that beards on dwarves have been mentioned a lot of times, no less than 20 different times. In fact, I went and pulled a PDF this morning of um, The Hobbit, and I did a quick search for beards, and I found no less than 38 mentions of the word beards throughout the entirety of The Hobbit book. The very first mention is in very early on, where we, where we get to the part where we were discussing discussing hobbits and 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 the fact that there's this very well-to-do hobbit and his name was baggins we get to this part where it says i suppose hobbits need some description nowadays since they have become rare and shy of the big people as they call us they are or were a little people about half our height and smaller than the bearded dwarves very first part of the hobbit we're clearly seeing that dwarves have beards the fact that they are called bearded dwarves the next mention of beards then happens i'm gonna scroll down here a little bit dun, 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 dun. you gotta get to it hobbits have no beards that doesn't count all right and this is when we get to um i gotta scroll down when we get to the dwarves arriving at the hobbit hole just before tea time, there came a tremendous ring on the front doorbell, and then he remembered. He rushed and put on the kettle, and put out another cup and saucer, and an extra cake or two, and ran to the door. I am so sorry to keep you waiting, he was going to say, when he saw that it was not Gandalf at all. It was a dwarf with a blue beard tucked into a golden belt. Oh, who's this? Dwallin at your service, he said with a low, low bow. And we go from there, and we get into Balin, who is presented with a white beard. And then we get to... Dun, 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 dun. Two more dwarves, both with blue hoods, silver belts, and yellow beards. Keely and Feely presented there. Um, now, not all of the beards um, are mentioned here are, are, are dwarf beards, but it's funny uh, anyway. Then we get into um, Thorin talking about what happened. You know, the few of us that were well outside sat and wept in hiding in cursed smog. And there we were unexpectedly joined by my father and my grandfather, with singed beards. I hope you see the pattern here. Dwarves in The Hobbit are very much established as having beards. It is an undoubted fact that dwarves have beards. It's also an undoubted fact that in the appendices of The Lord of the Rings, we are told that dwarven women are un indistinguishable from dwarven men in look, stature, and attire. And when they go out in the world of men, people think they are just like males. So I am a bearded dwarven princess because the dwarven women are indistinguishable from dwarven men. Therefore, I can say that I, Renfail, am a bearded dwarven princess and I'm reading The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings and The Silmarillion this summer summer of 2022 as we work our way down towards the woke version of the lord of the rings that is the rings of power and i hope you're going to join me for this journey because i am going to be reviewing the hobbit the lord of the rings all three of the books and the similar and throughout the course of the year we're going to be having some discussions with individuals on the channel i know i've been trying to schedule something with liam from liam's lyceum that will be happening i promise now that we're at the new office we're going to set up our meeting finally so stay tuned for all that fun stuff, and hopefully you've, you've enjoyed the tongue-in-cheek videos that I've been creating on YouTube around these subjects, um, and you will continue to stick around for more fun as we continue to go through World of Middle-Earth and all things Tolkien throughout 2022, and enjoy the books and enjoy the world of Middle-Earth, even if the show might be chaos and a travesty. We'll see. Thanks, everybody. See you next time. Oh, wait, before I do, i got to remind everybody, don't forget, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon, like the video, all those good things. Join the Discord. Links are below. If you want to support the channel, you can join as a member. You can also support via our Patreon page. It's patreon.com forward slash wandering hermits, where my brother, my wife, and I are building the world of the Weave in the Void. Book chapters come out twice a month. We have a point-and-click game. Demo is freely available over on the Patreon. And, of course, our 5th edition tabletop books 
which are coming out in June, where we're starting a live stream campaign on Twitch, and the Kickstarter, which is coming for the hardback books later on in late July or August. So stay tuned for all those good things. Till next time, Renfield, the bearded dwarven princess, signing off. Bye, everybody.